What's up guys, Salty Mike here coming at you with another Star Citizen video and today we're just quickly going to talk about a little rant that I had on my live stream this morning about Inside Star Citizen. Uh, Reddit's on fire, everyone's really upset about it and it's, um, you know what, I'm just going to let my little live stream rant play and I'd love to hear about what you think in the comments below after you watch the video. So thanks for watching everybody. So, my thoughts on this video, and my thoughts on just Inside Star Citizen as a whole, all right? I want to start out with, uh, here, let me bring this up, from someone who was formerly in QA. For once, QA gets the spot. This is from Mickey or Miss Missy or, or Mickey. She she used to be QA at the Wimslow Studio or Wilmslow Studio, and she says for once, QA gets a spotlight and everyone downs downvotes the video. QA works so damn hard. They do hours and hours of overtime. They give up their evenings and weekends for this game. Please have some respect. Well, and most of the comments say the same thing. I'm gonna say this has nothing to do with the QA team. Nothing. Okay, this has everything to do with the global video production team or whatever the frig they're called now. Okay, this has everything to do with that. You take three weeks off every quarter, and this is something you put out. Not that it was a bad episode, because it wasn't. Okay, it was a very good look at what QA actually is in Star Citizen. And Mickey was wrong because there's been many QA segments, but not a single one of them dove deep enough or in the, in the right way to explain how QA actually works for us and what it really means for our experience in the game. This episode was perfect for that, okay? The issue, the only issue that I take with this episode is you take fucking three weeks off of every quarter. And this is something you put out when the team is working on things towards 3-7. Like, what? How is this not one of the episodes during your three-week hiatus? This has absolutely nothing to do with 3.6 or 3.7. How do you not have... Three episodes just like this queued up for that time off. And you just play it, dude. And then you don't have any time off from any from any weeks because it doesn't make any sense. Right? Just queue this one up. You got it. And again, I posted a tweet about this. That's my opinion on the, on that. But that's my uninformed opinion. I have no idea what's going on in the background of of their video production, right? I have no idea, like, are, are the devs fighting them to give them content? Blah, 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 blah. I have no idea, right? So, it, it's gonna sound ridiculous, but what I would ask for at this point is an, an episode just like this about how they make the videos. I know it was a meme, like, they did, like, a meme episode, like, we should do it, an episode about how the video team makes the videos that you're watching, and it's like, well, at some point, if we're going to get super upset about the videos that come out, can you at least give us some insight into why the fuck you take three weeks off and why we get episodes like this when we should be seeing what's coming next at this point? Like, it's August 23rd. At the In, in one month's time, a patch is supposed to be releasing. In one month's time, we should be in the PTU of a patch. Where's the content for that patch? Where's um, the inventory system? Maybe it's a next, week ep next week's episode. Fine. But this episode should never be at this point of a, of a patch. And it, again, that's why the downvotes are there. Is the community says, we don't want this. From inside Star Citizen. Okay. Well, 
I don't think we necessarily have a say. So let's get into this part. On the, and I'll bring this up as well. Here we go. It's the 14 million one, professional quality feature length behind the scenes of Star Citizen documentary film. They're doing it as they're going. 1,000% this segment will be a part of that documentary film. And, and Inside Star Citizen has become that documentary. And that's not what we want from Inside Star Citizen as a community. But I think that's what we're going to get because I think that they're probably trying to deliver this in some way, shape, or form, right? It, the, the quality and the production value of these shows are insanely good for uh, a quote-unquote indie studio, right? It's, it, it looks amazing. The, the content is absolute shit tier for what we're looking for. For what we're looking for. But for what this is, a documentary film, it's awesome. So it's it's a it's a communication issue between Star Citizen and us is kind of how I'm looking at it. Are you making this documentary film with ISC guys or are you delivering us weekly updates to what's going on in the studio? Right? And that's really all I need to know and that's all I got out of that. And that's why I want to see a behind the scenes of what the video production team actually does and what what they do on a day-to-day -day basis because what we're getting from them is a live show. Thursday is when the actual episode comes out. So what's going on the rest of the week? I, I'm so curious. Like when, when you have an eight-minute video three weeks in a row, what what are you doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday? Like what is your day-to-day -day work day? It doesn't make sense to me, which is why I, I really feel like I need to see what's going on behind the scenes of this. Because it's like very confusing to me so yeah i mean that's that's my real thought on this i don't think it's super ranty i don't think it's super bad it just doesn't make sense to have an episode like this when you take three freaking weeks off a month or a, a quarter it, it's like this is the content that you fill with that and i don't think anybody has a, will have a major issue with it you know put our money to good use that's what we want to see it's got nothing to do with QA. It's got nothing to do with developers. It's don't waste our fucking money. And that's kind of what it feels like. So, like, and then at the same time, this is one thing that's really, really important to me to say. Jared is not to blame here. At least not 100%. I'm sure he's got some say in this, but... You don't have to like Jared's dad jokes. You don't have to like his, I don't know, I think personality is the wrong word. But you don't have to like Jared, right? But always putting the blame on Jared is absolutely ridiculous. There are so many people, other people making decisions and working on this. Like, Chris Roberts 100% has a say on some of the day-to-day -day things that are going on. And there, there are probably many other people. And... Like, I've worked behind the scenes with Jared on things a couple times, and the dude is the most, like, if, if Jared, if every dev had the dedication that Jared had, we'd already have Star Citizen. We'd already have the game, all right? There's nobody, that, like, there might be one person that cares more about Star Citizen than Jared, and that's Chris Roberts. He is the only other one, right? So it's like, I'm, I, I hate I, I hate that Jared is so tied, I mean, to these, because when we hate on them, we're hating on Jared, right? But it's like, I know how hard he works, and it's really hard to get this upset about the work that he puts out there. No, Jared is not director of video content. Look at his actual title. There's somebody above him. There are people above him making decisions. Okay? Let's keep that in mind. Jared is not a director. There's someone above him. And if he's a director, he's assistant director or something. There, there is definitely somebody above. Right? So it's, uh, it's, it's something that it's, I want to make sure that we don't 
blame just one person because this is a this is a bigger problem than just one person. And that's where I'm going to leave today's video. And yeah, I just kind of want to hear what you guys think. But I tried to do my best to think logically through the situation and why things are happening the way they're happening. And honestly, we're just not informed enough to be so upset about it is we really don't know what's going behind going on behind the scenes and what causes videos like this to happen and three weeks off each quarter and why that's so important. And uh, I'd like to know more. So I really like to know what you guys thought about the video. And um, yeah, maybe videos like this when I'm kind of struggling for time, taking some of my live stream, con live stream content, cutting it up and putting it in a video for you guys on YouTube. So let me know what you guys think because I know a lot of my YouTube audience likely isn't my Twitch audience because of the time of day I stream on Twitch. So leave a comment below. Let me, let me know what you guys think about it and I'll catch you guys in the next video.